Hey, Shalom Makiam, Shalom. Your brother Kanan back at you with the truth. Let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who well and teach well and lead Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, period, sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world really called Jesus Christ, and salvation, Shalom Makiam. Alright, the Wadi Yabba Shimmy Ashak put the spirit for all me to come out here another camp week. Preach to the Lord Sheep of the House of Israel. I'm going to make this a quick uh, camp lesson. Not going to make it too long due to the weather. It's pretty frigid, but you know, we're going to endure. Endure in the spirit. Through the spirit, power, mercy, and will of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. We're here to preach the downfall of Babylon, which is America. Preach to, to the the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is consists of Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, and make up the house of Israel. And I begin with Judah, which is the head tribe of the southern kingdom, and Ephraim is the head tribe of the, of the northern kingdom. All right, the kingdom was split up in two right, during the reign of Solomon. All right, and we're just going to basically preach prophecy, man. Okay. All right, we're here to speak the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. All right, Romerica, the revised Roman Empire, the last leg of the Roman Empire, man. All right, the Lord's going to take this kingdom down violently. All right. Moving up my sword. All right. The reign of Esau is coming to an end. Okay. And we're looking forward to bigger and better things, brothers. Okay. The kingdom of Israel is about to be ushered in. Again, where our Lord Yahweh Shai ruling over the kingdom of Israel. Okay. Plan. All right, so going to the peace prophecy, the downfall of Babylon the Great. Okay. So let's start off. are going down, you so-called white people, all right, which is Esau, Edom, according to the biblical, uh, to the Bible, all right, you so-called white people are the biblical Edomites, all right, you so-called Indians are the biblical Elamites, so-called Chinese are the biblical, uh, Moabites, okay, so you, you heathens are going to slavery, man, and you biblical, uh, uh, you Africans are the biblical Hamites, okay, all you heathens are going to sleep. Okay. Let's start with Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 20. Destruction upon destruction is cry for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tent spoiled and my curtains in a mountain. Okay. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? How long the Lord shall see our people in this condition? How long the Lord shall deal with such a rebellious and stiff necked nation? Okay. How long he shall uh, uh, blow the trumpet using his prophets, man? How long you, you niggas is going to love the so called white man and, and their abomination? They're eating the pork, the shrimp, the lobster, all right? Giving it to the holidays, the, the, the birthdays, which is really very satanic. They're talking about uh, they're going to start making uh, Christianity into uh, Satanism, which it really is Satanism, all right? You're just worshiping the devil all over again with Christianity, okay? And it says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish. When you go to the word sodish, it means stupid. Sodish children, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, right? They're wise to do evil, but to do good, 
they have no what is it? What's it called? What's it called? Good. They have no knowledge. They have no knowledge of what Yahweh Hashem requires. They have no knowledge of what righteousness is because they've been so immersed in wickedness. All right. They have forsaken the Holy One of Israel. All right. And have forgotten about the ways of righteousness. All right. Which is why our people is constantly getting punished by Yahweh Hashem and Shai. And the, the Lord's going to get you, Esau. All right. You devils are going to slavery, man. Okay, you're the curse of the earth. You made our people go off. But the Lord have this perfect, wicked man do this so that we can learn a lesson from what, uh, uh, from not to do evil again, man. Damn, it's cold. So let, let me get on. like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Israel their sins and that's what we're here to preach out to our people you're going off okay you know uh, worshiping uh, these uh, false gods right you know celebrating your, your birthdays and your, keeping the customs of the heathen right doing things that's contrary to the scriptures okay Yahweh Shem Shai is not pleased with the society and pleased with our people Okay, the Lord is going to whoop our people as according to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 and the book of Daniel chapter 12. Okay, let's see if I could try to get it. Amos chapter 9 verse 8 Behold the eyes of the Lord Yahweh upon this upon the sinful kingdom which was going into Israel I'll be going off but you could fast forward talking about America today who's the eyes of the Lord the angels the angels are watching over this kingdom all right to destroy it right sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob save the Lord and the Lord said he's going to preserve all right certain members of the house of Jacob which is the elect the remnant okay for lo I will command it I will sift the house of Israel among the among all nations like as corn is sift in the sea yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth so the Lord will save all right the elect of the nation of Israel meaning there's going to be a small uh, number that's going to be delivered from the time that we're entering, okay? Jacob's trouble. I want to see if I can try to grab it. But if I can, it's fine. Uh, let's get... Spirit wants. I'm just going to read it. All right, let's re let's read Amos chapter three, verse one. Hear the word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "You only have I known of all the families, you Negro, Latinos, and Americans, you tribes, of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity." How the Lord is going to do this by famine, by plagues, by pestilence. Beast, all right, by the sword, uh, uh, which is Esau. All right, the Lord is going to use these uh tools to uh beat the house of Israel ass, man. Okay, so the Lord says He's going to punish our people for their iniquities, and the, the elect is going to be preserved, man. Okay, I would have spirit wanted, man. I'm 
shall jump down to verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people shall not be afraid, meaning the prophets is out preaching this word, and when the Lord uh, perform judgment, right, in the city, that's like a trumpet being blown in the city, where you hear the sirens, the police, the ambulance, right, and it says, shall not be afraid, and, there, and shall there be people in the city, and the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, have not done it, verse 7, surely the Lord, Yahweh, would do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants. The prophets, the prophets have, all right, the secrets of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, whatever the Lord uh, 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 have in mind that he want to do, he speak it first through his prophet, man. All right, and then the next thing the Lord is going to do is what? Get this uh, MOTV uh, fully mandated and ready. He's going to get uh, he's going to get them concentrated and ready. Right? It's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. Okay. All right, because you already have in Trinidad, they're talking about the MOTB, the grain of rice and the rice and the skin. All right, and spiritual powers is going to come to the elect because of the kind of apocalypse that's going to be on on Earth, man. The hell that's going to be on Earth. So the Lord's going to make sure uh, man is going to be on that spiritual power because you know Esau is going to come in like a flood according to the Book of Revelation twelve and twelve. Okay. Verse 8, the lion have roared, like you hear a lion roaring uh, from miles, right? The lion have roared, who will not fear? The Lord Yahweh has spoken, who will, who can but prophesy? The prophets are out prophesying the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. Okay? That's why you see more chariot sightings. That's why you see much more uh, hell uh, uh, happening on earth, you know, uh, natural disasters. Recently, there was a tornado. Right, landslide, mudslide, right? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Sinkholes. All right, the Lord is working, man. Um, boy. try to get in as much as I can, brothers. Uh, let me try again. Sirach chapter 24. Verse 1, wisdom shall praise herself, right? The wisdom is praising herself among the men's Lord, I mean, among the Lord's men, right? And shall glory in the midst of her people, right? You see all this truth coming out, you know, with the celebrities talking about Hebrew Israelites, their, uh, these devils being confounded for the devils they are, right? And more truth is coming out. Wisdom is praising herself through the spirit of power and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. The truth coming out. All right? I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in high places and my throne and is in my throne is in a cloudy pillar. So the Lord, he sits upon a what? A, a so-called UFO, which is the chariot of Israel. Okay? that That's what's going to be coming back to this third dimensional realm. All right? From the fourth dimension. Yahweh Shai and the angels is going to be flooding the skies, fighting the so-called white man and his armies, man. Okay? And it says, I, it says, I dwell in high places and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. Verse 5, I alone can pass the circuit of heaven. All right, the earth is not flat, it's a circuit, right? It's a circle. And walk at the bottom of the deep and the waves of the sea and in all the earth and in every people and nation, I got possession. The Lord controls everybody, man, and every everything on earth. All right, with all these, I saw rest and peace and inheritance shall I abide. The house of Israel is going to get that inheritance. Right? The next ruler, as you see, is right here, man. Nico Latinos, the Americans, the next rulers over the universe, man. Okay? Now I'm going to wrap it up, brothers.
book of Matthew chapter 24 verse verse 13 but he that in, but he that shall endure unto the end this the same shall be saved so if we endure to this end until the end or this age all right and endure through all the prophecies that come upon the earth we shall be saved by what the chariots of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And it says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into in all the world. Alright? The downfall of the kingdom. Alright? This is the gospel being preached all throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright? Then for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Okay? And then shall the end come. Alright? So when this gospel is being preached throughout the, all the ends of the world, the end shall come. And let me close it out, man. Uh, lock it. Let's read uh, Revelation 18. Verse 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she have filled, fill to her double. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, which is talking about America. Okay? They glorifying itself. All this abomination, all this filth. Okay? So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit as a queen, and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plague come in one day, death, and mourn, and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh to judge her. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua is going to judge, judge this wicked society, man. All right? By fire and brimstone with the nuclear missiles, thermal nuclear fire, and, um, uh, that was shining the holy angels shooting laser beams on this place. Um, I want to read, I want to close it out with one more. Close it out, brothers. Close it out. One more. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, because his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endures forever. And we're going to jump down to verse 28 and 29. Thou art my power, and I will praise thee, Yahweh. Thou art my power, I will exalt thee. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Lord mercy and do it forever on the nation of Israel, man. Together with the elect. Alright? So our kingdom is coming, brother. Spiritual power is coming to the elect. And it's going to be hell breaking loose very soon, man. So that women shall take a hold of one man according to the book of Isaiah 4 1. Hey, we the Lord's going to feed us in a time of famine according to the book of Isaiah 65. So Lord willing, this lesson was quick and edifying. I did the best of my ability to uh, uh, preach to the house of Israel. Alright? Beginning with the elect. The elect of Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna end up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakadash, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahweh Shai. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are well and teach well and leading Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching or preaching his truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai from the world and call Jesus Christ for salvation. Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, 
Shalom, Yashirah, Rawa, and above all, death to America. Shalom, my king, stay strong in spirit. You must add it to salvage him, Yahweh Shah. Shalom, stay strong, keep the faith. You're almost home with power and level up in the spirit, brother. Shalom.